Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with my whip parade for 2023. Um, I'm going to give you all a quick view of my whips that I have either barely touched or are almost completed with. So before I get into all of that, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. I also put notification information on my Instagram page. I'll be sure to put that link in the description box below. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so let's get right into it. Let me give you my disclaimer. One of these diamond paintings is for the Rouge Crude Nude event that's being um, done for the month of August. I have shown it before. There is a small bit of nudity. It is the buttocks of the painting. So if you don't want to see it, then you may want to just like kind of skip ahead, you know, or anything like that. It is nothing that is, um, I don't know, offensive in my eyes. Samaya has seen it. Let me just say it like that. She's nine. So it's, it's, is nothing that you or your child hasn't seen in a cartoon or anything like that. So that's it. I just wanted to make sure I gave you all full warning so you could skip ahead because it's gonna be the second diamond painting that I show. So these are my whips that I have. I believe this is all of them. Um, some of them are almost done most of them are not most of them definitely are not but i just want to show you guys what i have because we always talk about our whips so i just want to show you guys what i have so this first one is a um snack budget diamond painting that i purchased i have no idea even where i got this from <laughs> i have no idea but I will tell you what I do notice about um, snack diamond paintings, unless it's very, very evident it's color blocking, is a lot of confetti. And um, this one where you think it's just black, it's multiple colors. So it is a lot of single placing. So I kind of like stopped working on it. Um, I need to finish it. It's a tiny little painting. I just need to go ahead and finish it and get it done and out of the way. My plans are to really work on my whips this year to see um, about completing as many as I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them all done because there's eight here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them all done, but I would really like to try. So it's this silhouette here, Snow White. It's just around 30 by 40. And I guess what's holding me back is the fact that it's uh, quite a bit of confetti. Um, let me see if I can hold it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like if you can see the letters in here and all of that, you can see it's just different letters all throughout. That's just the only thing that's really holding me up from completing it. And I need to just go ahead and complete it and stop being spoiled. So the next one, of course, is this one from Touch the Soul Arts. I Today is August 17th. So I finished Satara on the 14th started this one on let me pull her down so you guys can see started her on the 15th 
didn't touch her on the 16th, not at all. I was cross-stitching, really trying to get the groove of that, watching a lot of cross-stitching videos, literally, we'll discuss that later. But anywho, I did not touch it on the 16th and I wish I would have. So today, um, I'm going to put in the time into this one because this is for a diamond painting event that's being held. And I would really like to get this one going. So it's just that top corner over there that I've done. And she's beautiful. I mean, I love it. I just gotta work on her. This one, yes, is another one with the confetti. <sighs> this is another one with the confetti. Okay, so we have this one, and this one is a, what size is this? Oh, it must be on the paper. I don't, in the sun. oh, it's a 55 by 73. This one is, says it's a 55 by 73, but I think that's the entire canvas, not the image, not the image, but I'm cool with the size of the image. I think it looks good. And then the next one, was for the JBG event. You know what, let me fix my camera here. One moment. This one was for the JBG event. Um, She's mostly done. It's this section here from where my fingers are to here. I hope you can see my hands. That needs to be done. So this section in here needs to be completed. She's almost done. She'll be done by the end of the year. She's gorgeous. This is the one where I was like, y'all, this confetti, I can't take it. But no lie, Whitney is 100% correct. That, that confetti is what makes it look realistic, like a real painting. Because me looking in the camera now, she looks... I mean, like a real painting. So this one definitely will be one that gets done by the end of the year because I'm almost finished with it. And I got this one from Pam Diamond Painting. And this is also on the website for JBG as one of her free images that you can use. So if you want to look into that, I'll try to put the link for that website. If I possibly can find it, I'll make sure I put that in the description box. But yes, she's one that's basically about 80% done. So I'll go ahead and finish this one. Um, this is another one that I got from Pam Diamond Painting. Uh, it was kind of my fault. I ordered a crystal diamond painting. I thought it was going to be around. It's, it, that was completely my mistake. And I pawned myself saying that I wanted to start this one some months ago because um, the pumpkins, let me move this. You see how the rendering of the face isn't really clear? That's why I wanted to do it. It was this pumpkin and this pumpkin that I felt like the rendering of the face wasn't all that hot and I wanted to do it. Let me have to get more tape. And I wanted to do it to see what it looked like. The drills are beautiful. The drills are really, really nice. No issues with that. Ah, can I check her out? The crystal drills are beautiful. Nothing wrong with the drills. Um, and I don't even have that covered. It hasn't been covered and it's still really sticky. The stick is good. It was just the rendering of the pumpkins. So there was a couple people who said, when you're doing a crystal diamond painting, so I'm gonna pass this on to you. When you're doing a crystal diamond painting, less is more. So you don't want a whole lot going on in your crystal diamond paintings okay because of the rendering i've done a crystal diamond painting before but i've only had i've only done i believe one one 
and that's the beach girl that's on my wall when you see me do my lives you may see her in the back by the window and it's the truth it's just her her glasses and the reflection of her glasses and that's it so maybe i'll work on this more for the i probably won't join the event but you know how i just participate just to support but um for the drills and chills maybe i'll start working on it again then to try to get it done but i would like to get this done so i could show it in my um end of the year diamond paintings so is this one and again this one came from pam diamond painting and she may have gotten the rendering corrected if you contact her if you speak with her or contact her she will contact you back uh, then this one is from distracted by diamonds Ooh, hold on okay this one is from distracted by diamonds this is you deserve happiness this is another one with the confetti I don't know. I just need to stop complaining and just say it is what it is. Period. My daughter is calling me. Give me one second. Okay, guys. I'm so sorry. Watch for the blooper at the end. But anywho. So. Okay, wait. Just real quick. She's 25. She's not like a kid. So, <laughs> so when you watch the blooper at the end, this is not a kid she's 25 so anywho i think i was saying something about the confetti this one is yes this one has um quite a bit of confetti i do want to finish this one i think the colors are beautiful uh i'll just show you so far the drills look really really good and i think it's a really nice painting a nice size and I need to finish this one. Now, this is one that I would like to go ahead and finish. I hope I can by the end of the year. I bought this one when Robin from Distracted by Diamonds was having this huge sale. So this is one of the ones that I purchased at that time. I bought, I purchased several. So this one, and I think I took the plastic. I have not done this type of covering like this in forever, but I think it was something with the plastic I didn't like, the covering. So I just took it off and did this. I can't remember, but I'm sure that's the reason because I haven't done um, laying the um, release papers in forever. So there's that. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a little bit. So this one, and that is around also. This one, I can't remember when I started this one. Did I lose the cover binder? Oh, there it goes. Uh, this is from Craftably, Java Johanna. Ain't she cute? Um, child, I started that color blocking over here and that's all in ab's and i said i'm tired <laughs> i am never happy <laughs> i complained about the confetti and the color blocking whatever <laughs> i'm just being 100 percent honest bro i was like listen here what's going on so it's okay it's just fine i will work on this some more this one if i had to set a goal for it would be one that i would like to do in uh more towards the winter time because it's giving that kind of vibe i think she's super cute she's kitted up she's ready to go and this is why i don't have any kits to kit anything because everything's already kitted up and i'm not working on it but there's nothing wrong with this painting everything's fine it was just me i just it was me but everything else is fine the drills are fine the canvas is fine i have several craftably um diamond paintings it's just i got tired so this is by sheena pike again this one is around 
and she's so cute. She's really cute. So I will be working on this. Um, the next one is from Jada Gym Shop. This is the one and only square. The one and only. Uh, really quick. This was a gift from from Jade. She gifted this to me. Up here in the top corner is the only section that I have done. I started it this year. Um, her drills are beautiful. Hold up, can I get this right? Her drills are beautiful. First things first, I have to say that. They sparkle, they look good. I wasn't having like dust and trash, none of that. I don't want anyone to come leave here thinking that it's the painting, it's not, it's me. I have to have, you know, self-confidence to know that I can do these things and stop putting so much pressure on myself for perfection and that um, I'm not moving fast enough. I'm not getting them done fast enough. I'm not um, just basically in a nutshell being like other people. I'm just being completely honest with y'all. I don't know how else to be. I'm just being completely honest. So I need to know that um, even if it takes me, you know, two or three months to work on a painting that I'm consistently working on, then that's just how long it's gonna take. So this one is my one and only square. This is the only square painting that I have pulled out this year. This is pretty big. This is a 70 by 70. It's called Mushroom Creatures from Jada Gym Shop. Um, she was interested in seeing about some paintings for like Black History Month. And she gave me a few names of different artists that are on Instagram that she works with. And this is the one that I chose. So this one is now in her shop. Super cute, super cute. I love the um, the image, really, really nice artwork. And yes, this is from a black artist and I appreciated the fact that's where she was getting the artwork from. So, am I gonna finish this this year, y'all? Let's not lie, but I'm going to work on it though. <laughs> I am going to work on it. I think this one's super cute. All right. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to, let me have to move y'all around. I don't know. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So this is Elizabeth Dido. Uh, here it is here. Now you see how I have the release papers? This diamond painting is about two years old, okay? So that's why I mean I haven't done this type of thing in a long time. This is about two years old. Uh-oh, sorry, I got it for the, um, what's it called? What's it called? Summer with the Masters. Um, this is a very, very famous painting of Elizabeth Dido and her cousin, Elizabeth, and I told you guys the story about this a hundred times. I've done videos on this. Um, I did the unboxing on this. I watched the movie. There is a movie about Elizabeth Dido. Um, this is a round. This is an 80 by 80, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Jade helped me... Uh, Okay, well, let me say it like this. Katie helped me with making sure I had the correct information when I was looking for the type of painting that I wanted. I knew what I wanted, but I wanted to make sure that I was kind of following along with the event rules and things like that. And then Jade helped me get, um, this is way before she even had her shop and stuff, way before. Um, she helped me get the 
imaging and things like that and editing and all that for Mary's Diamonds. So Mary's Diamonds did their part and then they sent it to me and it's nice, but I gotta finish it. It's nice. Um, I haven't had any issues with the drills or anything like that. Um, it's a beautiful painting. You can, if you look up Elizabeth Dido on Google, you'll see the painting, you'll see um, why it's such a famous painting. Uh, they still have the painting until this day and what the big deal was around the whole situation. Um, this was basically unheard of in its time that you would have a woman of color with a with a white woman and they were dressed um, in a way that she would match her cousin. She wasn't dressed like she was the maid. She was dressed in a proper dress, jewelry, things like that. It's just the whole deal. It's a beautiful story. And uh, I love this. I ju it's just so big and I haven't done it. I'm just doing everything else. Now, I'm gonna show you all my last painting. But before I do that, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if y'all don't want to hear me say, <laughs> anything negative, y'all need to cut this off now. I am telling you this diamond painting has been my arch nemesis. I think I've only complained about it to Whitney. And she always teases me. Have you finished it yet? Have you finished it yet? And I have to keep telling her to stop trying to be funny. This will probably be the last painting I do once my stash is done. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, it's falling. Oh, let me that in here. Child, when you look up irritation in the dictionary, this picture is going to be there. Okay. Oh. Put this on the floor. Ah, she fell. You see, she couldn't even stay up there right with like the other paintings did. Good Lord. Hold on, I'm gonna bump y'all. Ah. <sighs> I'll just take this off for now. Whoo, this one. <sighs> Help me, Lord. Help me. This is Queen. This is from Die Moon Shop. This is a painting that I purchased, I don't know. Two and a half or so years ago, I have four from Die Moon Shop. I have this one. This is the first one I ever touched. I have this one. I have Yolandi. I have Double. And I have Female Empowerment. Those are the four that I have from Die Moon Shop. When I tell you, I can look now and see these, these symbols. Okay? Some of them you can see just fine, but I promise you, some of them you cannot. Like, I cannot see what this says. I can see what this says, but I cannot decipher what these ones up here say. It has been like that from the start, and it's the most aggravating thing. I have tried light pads, no light pads. I have tried my magnifying light no magnifying light i take my glasses off i put my glasses back on i have this kitted up ready to go i try three four times to do it it's a disaster you can barely read what it is even on the schematic because it's almost like they're blurred or something i don't understand or they're not, like the white symbols aren't white enough. They're more, maybe they're more like a, 
it's just not right. <laughs> I'm not about to make excuses. It's not right. And it hasn't been right since I started it. They, it looks good once you get them down. But if I have to like hunch my back for two hours just to lay down five drills, that's like crazy. Mm -mm. I know y'all saying, oh my gosh, she looks like Diana Ross from Mahogany. Yes, yeah, she does. That's why I bought it. That's why I bought it. But man, I'm telling you, the stick is really good. Some people say the, their drills aren't all that great. I don't think I've had issues with the drills. It's the symbols. It's the symbols, man. Oh, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is the one I can honestly say I feel like mm -hmm. I would, it would be the last time of painting that I would do. I'm going to try to finish it because it shouldn't take me so long. It's a small painting. It's a very small painting. It shouldn't take me this long. It's a 60 by 60 round. It should be something that's pretty easy to do. It is not color blocking. This is, this is all confetti. This is all confetti. And I believe that's blue. I think that's that really, really dark blue. That's in here. So it's 310 and then that really, really dark, dark, dark blue. That's in here. I don't know if I'm going to be working on this one, bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be working on this one. I, I just, wow. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on with this one. I have it kitted up. I even put it in my little colorful, cute little um, diamond painting trays that I got from Timu. Trying to have positive vibes. It's going to be nice. We're going to get through this. And I literally put it back. I, I took it out one day and I literally put it back up the same day. It's just aggravating. So, I don't know. I don't believe in throwing away diamond paintings. I don't do that. I know I've heard some people say that they do. They just track. I, I don't do that. I really try to get through what I have. When I first started diamond painting, I was one of those people. I did not start one until I finished one. Then when I did JoJo's art, Beautiful Death Colored, that all changed. That all changed. I had to stop with that one. I started coloring. Next thing you know, I started having wits. And I've never been a wit person. So the goal is to really work on these um, and get them completed if at all possible. If not, that's okay. If, that's, if, it, if I don't get them done by the end of the year, which I know I won't, that's okay. I will continue to work on them to get them done, but to really try to not, con uh, to, uh, what's the word I'm trying to do, say, um, Really try not to create more wits. That's for 2024. I really don't want to create more wits because you're just getting further and further and further behind. This is how I feel. Y'all do what y'all want. This is how I feel. So this is my whip parade. <sighs> this is my whip parade, y'all. So if you stay to the end, thank you so very much. Don't forget you have to listen to the blooper with me and my daughter on the phone. Um, if you stay to the end, please leave me a yellow heart emoji that lets me know that you stay to the end of the video and it also supports my channel for free. Thank you all so very much for watching. I would love to know how many whips you guys have. So you can leave me the yellow heart emoji and just the number next to it if you want to. Or you can just leave me the heart emoji. So if you have five, leave five yellow heart emojis. That'll let me know how many you have. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Because some people are like, girl, I got 12 and you ain't got enough. 
comment space. So <laughs> if you don't want to do it, that's fine. You don't have to, but I have eight. I have eight, y'all. I got to figure it out. Alrighty, guys. Thanks so much for watching. You all remember to stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye. Yes. Hey, Mom, can you do me a I'm recording my videos. What do you want? Bruh. You gotta do it now because I only got 45 minutes. Oh my god. Alright. You'll get it tomorrow. I know, but I'm recording. Okay, I'm more important. Bruh. Are you? Alright, I got I alright, I got it. I'll send it. Okay. Thank right. you. I can't send it from my watch. What? I can't send it from my watch. Oh, I